Welcome to the Sunday life. Okay, so you might be seeing a topic um, right at the top of the life or maybe in the heading portion of the life, right? And yeah, and today's topic is feeling overwhelmed in your business or while making money in the whole process of making money. And while I might be referring to um, the coaching business or uh, the business where you work with clients or you work with another human being or another human brain, right? Whatever I'm going to talk about overwhelmed in business and the way we feel is going to apply to every other kind of businesses. It doesn't matter which way you make money whatever I'm going to speak right now about feeling overwhelmed, right, about nervous system crashing down is going to apply everywhere. So listen intently. Okay, some things may apply, some things may not apply, you may drop them. Listen intently. Okay, so firstly, what exactly is overwhelm, right? When we look at overwhelm, what exactly is overwhelm? Overwhelm is a state, right? It's a state and it lives inside inside this human body, okay? It's inside this human body. Like, you may say that it's in the brain, but it's not in the brain only. You're, you may feel it and perceive it and become aware of it via your brain, but it's not in the brain, right? It's in your entire body. And therefore... You know that from the brain, there are these nerves, right? The cranial nerves, they come out and they move into the spine. And then from the spine, they spread out through the whole body. And then there are various kinds of nervous system according to their functionality, right? So we have the central nervous system, which is the brain. Then from the brain, of course, it goes down to the spinal cord, right? From those, from the spinal cord, there are different, different nerves that come out, right? And therefore you have the central nervous system. This is the central nervous system. Then you have the autonomic nervous system, which means the nervous system which controls your heart. Your heart keeps on beating without your effort, which means your urinary bladder, right? Like you feel like peeing without your effort or without you telling your bladder, hey, it's time to pee, right? Even the way you swallow food, it goes automatically without the effort like, Press here, swallow food. Press here, swallow food. Press here, swallow food. We don't do that. It's autonomic. It has its own control, volition, and will, right? So that's the second one, autonomic nervous system. Then we have the peripheral nervous system, the ones that we feel in the extremities, right? Like some people may feel cold or, you know, flushing when they're going on a live or in front of public. That's peripheral nervous system, right? It's in the periphery. Now, what happens is when you are overwhelmed, when you are overwhelmed, you enter a state where this entire nervous system of yours, the CNS, the ANS, the PNS, central nervous system, autonomic nervous system, peripheral nervous system, all of these come to a point where you feel constricted you feel shutting down, like your body posture actually becomes like this. You reach a state where you don't want to think because thinking feels like a task. So all these centers that are located in the frontal part of your brain, where it helps you to rationalize and calculate and make intelligent decisions and make choices, right? And planning and calendaring all of them automatically begin to shut down and the autonomic nervous system comes to a point where it says that I'm going to take control now. So what's going to happen is I will shut all the important centers of the brain and the body that is involved in taking action. Okay? So you don't actually have to take action and expend your energy. Because when you take action, the body feels that a lot of energy is like going out, 
right? And you want to preserve all that, all that energy. How do you preserve all that energy? By shutting everything down, right? Like how do you preserve energy of your computer? Like you shut down, you close all the tabs, you close all the bars, and then you, you know, maybe you just open one single bar, right? That's how you, that's how you, um, that's how you close any system, right? A lot of bars are open, so you just close them down. You want to save the energy, right? And because you want to save the energy, that is the reason you want to shut down everything that will otherwise in a non-overwhelmed state would help you to take actions, isn't it? So that's overwhelm. Now the thing is that people can be overwhelmed by different, different things in their environment, right? I teach um, a model um, which, is, which was originally developed by uh, Brooke Castillo from the Life uh, Coaching School. And the model was circumstances trigger thoughts. Thoughts um, cause feelings and create feelings and feelings are going to motivate the actions that you take, right? And that those actions are going to create your result like C-T-F-A-R, right? Now what happens is I see things that can overwhelm us as circumstances. Like right now I'm sitting in this room and I'm talking to you people. And if I already feel exhausted, if I already feel that I have done a lot during the day and so much of work has happened and I've talked to 10 different people and have written 20 different emails and now I'm just so exhausted I can't do anything. So coming on a live, my brain centers are going to shut down and I may not be able to communicate properly because not only my throat feels choked because of course everything is constricting, but at the same time the brain center which is going to help me communicate and read and think, you know, thoughts and, you know, what should I say and what, how am I thinking? This, this whole cognition is going to be lost, right? It's going to be lost. So this simple life, which is a circumstance, a circumstance is neutral, right? Like this situation where I'm talking to you is a neutral circumstance. How I feel about this circumstance might make me feel overwhelmed or any other feeling based on how I interpret the circumstance, right? So everything that's causing you overwhelm in your life, right? You need, to, you need to write those things down. Is your family causing you overwhelm? Are, I, do, are you a mother who, while handling children, feel overwhelmed? Do you feel overwhelmed by the clients that you meet and the fact that you have to respond to DMs? Do you feel overwhelmed by the push you feel that you have to show up on the internet, on Facebook, on Instagram to sell your offers every single day? Are you overwhelmed by looking at the amount of content that is out there or the amount of content that you have to consume in any of your trainings or any of your certifications or any of your coaching, right? I want you to notice that all of these things that make you feel, apparently make you feel overwhelmed are things, they are neutral, right? They are neutral. Like you seeing me right now is a neutral circumstance. The books that are there in your library that you think you are supposed to read is a neutral circumstance. The amount of money that you think you need to make this particular month or this particular year is a neutral number. It doesn't have any gravity. It doesn't have any weight. Right? Your family, the way they behave, the way they talk, the way they scream or shout or the way they, you know, the time they sleep is a neutral circumstance. Everything outside of you is a circumstance everything outside of your body is a circumstance including the fact that there is um, construction going on outside there's a lot of traffic going on on the road the business is bringing um, 50,000 instead of 5 lakhs this month all of these are circumstance 
and your brain and your body is interpreting this circumstance in a certain way right it is interpreting in a certain way and that certain way is a story that you tell one of the example of the story that your your brain gives from the feeling that gets generated by witnessing the circumstance one of the example of the story is i should have made 5 lakh this month is a story i must complete these chapters that are in my module otherwise i am not good enough and i have not prepared enough for my workshop that's a story i need to be a good mother because uh, so and so is a good mother because they take their child to swimming and then skating and then they also take care of their tuition i am not able to do that i am not a good mother so i should be like that i should have 20 people coming in my webinar i just have two i must have done something wrong so now i'm trying to figure out what can i do that brings in 20 people i have to do something about it right so when you have these stories there are these narratives that you have around your circumstance okay like look at your business look at your money look at your clients look at your selling look at your offer and you will have a story around that you may have to like really sit down for some time and like close your eyes and breathe into your body to ask you know what's the story i have about this overwhelm like definitely the thing that is outside of me is in is a circumstance but i have a story about the circumstance what is this story that i have and when you begin to like notice the story like after a few deep breaths you may want to write down that story and one of my favorite coach byron kt b y r o n k a t i e she uses just four questions to question any story and these are very simple questions you may even check her out on instagram you may read her books all available they are also very downloadable you know they are all over the internet by the way and she asks just four question and the first question is is that true like is your story true second question is are you sure it's 100% true third question is how do you feel when you believe in that story and the fourth one is who would you be without that story right so our identities are also woven according to the stories um that we have made the narratives that we have made about our overwhelm right so one is this have to thing like should and have to and must is what causes the overwhelm like you have a lot of should and must and this is how it is supposed to happen and this should have happened against this you need to write down all of all of these should and must that you have about your business or about yourself or about the money you're making or about the clients that you have or about the sales that you're making or about the offers that you're making this should and must the second overwhelm is you know your brain is your entire nervous system is actually um made to focus which is why when you do meditation and you you are focused but you also diffused right like when you meditate the only thing that i do in my meditation to be very honest is i keep it simple i just close my eyes sometimes i put both my hands on my body i like that some people may not like that which is okay and i just close my eyes and i focus on my breath going out going in right so that's all i do it's a very simple exercise of focusing on your breath but the mind is diffused and then there are thoughts that are coming and my mind wants to like hold on to those thoughts but then i bring it back to my breath that's all i do and the more i do it the better i feel the more i do it the better i feel the more i do it the more clarity i have and i feel that a lot of like garbage is has gone out of my head and gone into thin air why does it feel good why what's the science behind it right because our nervous system is designed to focus 
we are really designed to focus. One of the reasons why it was designed to focus is also a part of a survival instinct. So that we know what danger is coming and we can either flee from it or we can focus on what needs to be taken care of, what needs to be managed and what needs to be fought, right? One of the reasons is that. The other reason is the entire nervous system is also designed to be at one point, at one given moment of time, which is why all these great spiritual leaders, including Eckhart Tolle, also speaks about the power of now. Because the mind and the brain, which is of course the same thing, um, in a way, feels most um, accomplished and fulfilled when it's in the now, right? Now, what causes overwhelm? One is when you are in the past and the other is in the future. And whenever you are in the past and whenever you are in the future, you are also distracted. Like you may sit down to write down an email to your email list and uh, you want your clients to know about your new offer, you want your customers to know about what you are selling, and you want to like tell them, this is a brilliant thing that I'm doing, why don't you come to my workshop and all of that. And while writing that email, let's say it's an example, one moment you're going and checking your Instagram. The other moment you're like replying to the DM. Then you're running to the kitchen to make a cup of coffee. Then you're running back to your, <laughs> to your table, right? Then you are thinking that, oh, but that I did not send that email, that other email that I was supposed to send. Oh, but then I, I was supposed to speak to that student of mine. When you do all of that, and then you, you keep inter interrupting that one work that you were doing, your brain has to fire in so many different directions and have to take care of so many different things. It has to process multiple information. Remember, it has to process multiple information in one single go, which it is not naturally designed for. You are designed to process one, finish it, move to the other, finish the next one and move to the other and finish the next one and move to the other. That's how your brain is and your nervous system is actually designed, right? So it's distraction which causes overwhelm and exhaustion, which means after writing the email, you feel so depleted. And it is also true when you are interacting with a client and you are coaching a client and you are not present with the client fully because you are going inside your own brain. Am I doing justice to this client? Should I be charging this much or should I be charging less? Maybe I should have given a discount because this is not great work. I am not being of service to this client fully because I don't have X, Y, Z skills. When you are going back and forth with your client and with yourself, having these critical thoughts about yourself, you are not again present and connected to your client, which makes you feel so exhausted after a session. So many people tell me I get exhausted after a session and I say, how? Because I do group coaching of hundreds of people, hundreds of people I do group coaching. I never, ever, ever get exhausted. Like I'm not wearing a tourmaline, right? I'm not wearing a uh, crystal at this moment. My neck is empty. I'm just wearing this, uh, these two things, right? I'm not wearing anything that is going to like, quote unquote, protect me from the apparent negative evil energy of someone, right? I am present with myself. And I, I have my boundaries intact. And I've worked on that for a very, very long time. Which is why my nervous system is in a state of regulation instead of a state of dysregulation. Right? And to everyone inside my coaching container, inside ATEPS, even inside TSM. TSM is a more training based but ATIPS is a more coaching based container where I help people to make money in their business, right? My number one focus with all of them who are out there to make money is nervous system regulation because you cannot make money without your nervous system being in a, being in a state of ease and not necessarily calm, but ease. Because you may have to navigate through different kinds of work and in all kinds of works and circumstances, you must be able to regulate your nervous system. Actually, you can make money. You can hustle your way to amounts like 80 lakhs or, you know, 100K USD, right? 
you can even hustle your way to um, maybe a crore, which is 125,000 US dollars. But you can't hustle beyond that. Believe me. You will have to be in a space where you are present, where you can think about your business in the future, where you actually slow down to speed up later, where you can devise innovations, methods, funnels, creating a community, interacting with people in a group. All of those will require a lot of body work where the primary focus of that work would be, to, would be this ability of being this tree in a forest and its roots are connected to every single other tree. But when you look at that tree, all you see is this nice standing tree and there is breeze and wind and the leaves are fluttering. You, you see this um, almost this personified calmness, right? And it's not true that it's calm, calm, so, you know, it's like sleeping calm. It's not that. A lot of activity is going inside that tree. There is like the vessels are, you know, bringing out water and there's nutrients being uh, spread out and the tree is connected to other trees and it's spreading out nutrients through the mycelium roots of the fungus. All of that is happening, but it's happening in a way where there is a flow, right the tree is present which is what we will have to reach to so that we can achieve that kind of regulation with our nervous system okay and that can be achieved by many different ways like one of the ways can be i mean many different ways like i do it through meditation i also do it through journaling sometimes most of the time i'm just focusing on my breath i don't do complicated techniques believe me i don't do complex stuff i just focus on the breath you can also do that like breathing meditation uh, uh box breathing um eft right journaling right i also do the model like i write down my circumstance then i write down my thoughts then i write down my feelings right so there are many ways youtube is full of methods of mindfulness but what i want to come to you is all of these methods work but your ambition with your business and with your money making process is not to only rely on a specific timing of your day where you can do go and do these methods but to change it into an entire lifestyle, right? The way you live. For example, um, right now I'm on a calorie deficit diet. Like I count my calorie and I eat my food, right? In the beginning, that felt really, really overwhelming because I had a story and I had a narrative in my brain that now I have to count my food. How am I going to manage my work and then my food? Everything that I have to count, how will I do it? That was the narrative I had. When I started doing it, with a coach who would actually help me do it. Like I would tell myself, my God, I, I have a fitness coach. I have three business coaches. Now I also have a nutrition coach. How, <laughs> how am I going to manage? You know, this is what I felt. But then as I did one month, it felt easy. And then my coach told me that Gaurav, it's not that you will be on deficit and you will lose weight and you will gain muscles and then something else will happen. This is going to be your lifestyle. This is how you will eat. And some of you may know that there was some construction going on in my house, which is why I had to stay in a hotel. And then I thought, oh my God, I'm going to the hotel. How am I going to eat? And according to my deficit. And trust me, my body automatically, like when I reached out for food, I automatically reached out for more salad, more fibers, you know, more dal, right, more protein. And, and that's all. And, and I would, my body would know how much I would want to eat. And even though I did not calculate my calories while staying in the hotel, and I came back home today, and I went to the weighing scale and weighed my weight, and I'm still at 67.5 kgs which is what I weighed one week back, which means I did not gain weight. And that is because I was focused on making it a lifestyle rather than I was focusing on this, um, the numbers, you know, or, or maybe, you know, I, this is done or I can't do this, right? So 
nervous system regulation has to go into the way you live your life so that every single day you can create your business the way you want to create from a space of ease and a space of focus, right? Focus cannot come to you in a state of overwhelm or desperation, right? Now, a third thing that I want to tell you about, uh, the second one was distraction, right? So the third thing that I want to tell you about overwhelm is like, as human beings, we are open system. We are not closed system. We are all the time connected to our environment. We eat food and we defecate stuff, right? Which means we are consuming things from our environment and we are releasing things also to our environment, which makes us an open system. We are not a closed system. Closed systems are those which do not need anything from the environment and they don't give anything to the environment, right? We are open system, which means our energies are also open, right? Now, the thing is that when we have had previous traumatic experiences, let's say we have had abusive childhood, okay? Let's say we had critical parents who criticized us all the time that we are not good enough, that we must work hard, that whatever we are doing is not great work, that we should be more productive, that we are not intelligent with money, that we are dumb, that we are stupid when we have these critical parents, right? When we have had bullying experiences in schools, let's say, by the teacher, by the peers, for example, with me, I have had really traumatic experiences for being a queer person, being called out by different bad names and they still live in my head and I had to really work hard to come to the stage where I can be visible to everyone without the feeling that I will be criticized and insulted for the way I am and the way I speak, right? Or there can be like severe accidental trauma. There can be trauma around money where you may have come from a space where not only did you belong to a family which did not have a lot of money, but a lot of negative stuff were talked about money that the world is, uh, people who have money are wrong. You know, rich people are bad. They are evil, right? Those kind of stuff. Or you may have uh, traumatic experiences around uh, seeing parents who did business and who lost business. Like I have traumatic experiences of seeing my grandfather losing a lot of money, right? So what I'm trying to say is when you have experiences in your past, right, which have not been processed yet because you haven't been able to process it yourself and you haven't had the opportunity to go to a therapist who could help you look at those uh, traumatic experiences and slowly, slowly create distance between you and them so that you can look at them in a neutral way and years of work has not been done, then what happens is there, there are these experiences in our entire system. And think of them as like, there's a ball here and 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 there's a ball here. And all these balls are your traumatic experiences, which you carry around as you walk, right? Like as you walk and, and go to the world, you carry these balls around you, right? And these balls keep on sucking energy out of you out of your present day life. So when you meet a client and you tell them that, you know, I'm offering sessions at like four sessions for 20,000 and then they would say, but it's so expensive. How can it be so expensive? And then you suddenly feel enraged, right? You feel that the person is criticizing you. You feel that every time in your life when you have put out something, people are not appreciative of you. They don't approve of you. They don't validate you. And you are regressing back to, you know, the way you were treated in school, where you were never appreciated, never validated. You, when your parents told you that you can't do, can't ever create a business, that you will fail, you go back to all those things. Whereas the client is just saying it's expensive, which means that I do not have the money to afford what you have. So my response in that case would be, okay, cool, right? What else can I do for you? Do you think you can go ahead and raise that money and come back to me after a month and work with me? If yes, let's discuss on that. If no, then fine, great. It was lovely speaking to you, right? <laughs> Something like that. But when I go into this narrative, which is also fueled by the traumatic residue that I'm carrying around me in the form of these balls, right? then I'm going to get very, very, very overwhelmed. Remember, overwhelm is caused by the body as an inner state of the nervous system to protect and save energy, right? 
So when these traumatic experiences keep on sucking energy out of our present life, let's say I have a ball here which, wherein I see my parents who were hypercritical of me. Let's say, this is an example, my parents are not hypercritical. <laughs> let's say there is, there, was, there is a ball here where my parents were hypercritical of me. Let's say I have an experience here where um, my professors told me that I have to beg on the street, which is a true story, by the way. Uh, let's say I have an experience here where someone told me that making money uh, via writing is impossible, which is also a true story. And let's say I have another experience here where, um, you know, um, some client, you know, uh, said that um, that nothing worked for them, right? So I carry all these things and then I go out doing business and I'm constantly checking if someone can say something wrong about me, if someone could potentially insult me or if, you know, I have to be protective about myself. I have to, you know, do my business in a way where people cannot steal my content. I will have these presumptions because of my previous experiences, which is going to make me doing business and making money a very overwhelming task, which means even if I have to sell my business, sell my work to um, three people, it's still going to feel so exhausting by the end of the day, right? That is what causes exhaustion when we have traumatic experiences in the past which we carry around in the form of these energetic residues, which keeps on sucking energy from us. And our body simply wants to save the remaining energy. So every time it feels under threat, it's simply going to shut it down, which is why trauma work is essential. Trauma work doesn't mean um, complex methods, right? Trauma work does not mean uh, doing regression therapy or doing family constellation. Trauma work simply means that to become aware of the sensations that we have around different circumstances and staying and the ability to stay with them long enough to observe them and know that they have come from a story in the past and staying with them long enough in the presence of a therapist, a coach or a supporting group so that you reach a point in your journey where you can look at those stories in a neutral way without being emotionally hypercharged. Okay, this can happen with a therapist, this can happen with a coach. This can have with a trauma informed coach, probably, or trauma focused coach, probably, like me. Or uh, it can also happen in the container, right? Sometimes container work is not enough, which is why I say that go and do one on one work with a the therapist. There are so many people inside ATEPS who, who, ha who carry trauma. We work with them as much as we can in ATEPS, but at the same point of time, people who need one on one work, I go and tell them that please go and do one on one work with a the therapist because I need you 100% present inside ATEPS so that you can make the money, right? So these were the three important aspects of feeling overwhelmed in your business. And I really hope that you are able to carry all this information and maybe come back. I'm gonna save this live, so don't worry. I also upload it on YouTube. So people who are watching on YouTube, please go and leave a comment below. Uh, but yeah, this is what the whole idea around overwhelm is. And I've given you a lot of instructions, tools, suggestion, advice, and people who are actively doing business, people who are in the coaching industry, people who are in the healing industry, people who are in the therapy industry, people who are creative entrepreneurs in the field of personal development. I implore you almost come inside ATIPS. You will have such amazing experience of letting go of this overwhelm that you constantly feel in your business and business is going to become extremely easy for you and you will be able to jump out of this um, colonial as well as capitalist narrative that you have to climb a ladder and you have to work really really hard and you have to suffer your way through to make money you don't have to i have no shame in admitting that i have like I, I am the person that I know that I have the most easiest life. 
Number one, because I love my work a lot. And number two, because work does not feel like work for me. And I, at the same time, I also know that I am creating so much value in this world just by, my, just by being myself. Like I believe that about myself, which is why I get so many people and I get so many clients and people want to be in my proximity, which is why they pay two and a half lakh rupees and get inside ATEPS. And recently I asked people inside ATEPS that, you know, I'm going to increase the price of ATEPS starting January 2024. Uh, how much how much do you think you would pay? And uh, I, I'm not going to share the responses right now. I will share it later. But I was astounded by the you know, numbers that they wrote down because they already felt that the value that they were getting, getting inside ATEPS was so much more than the two and a half lakh that they were actually paying, you know? So uh, that was really, really astounding. So I know that I am generating a lot of value in this world and people know that it's valuable and that value, believe you me, is coming from um, an immense amount of ease. It's coming from a space of deep fun. It's coming from a place of deep joy, right? And sometimes people ask me, how do you do so many things? Like, um, I produce one podcast episode every single week. Then I write in Substack. Every Monday, I send out um, uh, emails in my mailing list, right? Yeah, Substack I mentioned. I also coordinate a lot of posts on uh, the Facebook group that I have, which is uh, You Are Money. Uh, we have um, free coaching calls happening in You Are Money every single Friday at 7.30 p.m. by the coaches who are inside uh, ATEPS, right? And um, what else, what else, what else? Right. Of course, Instagram is there. I do these lives here. Right. So people ask me, how do you do? How do you like constantly manage so many things? And the truth is, the truth is, I don't manage. I don't manage and I don't plan. Because my mind is managed. My body is managed. Because none of these things that I do is a circumstance which produces any triggering feelings or thoughts in my body. How have I reached this state? I have reached this state by constantly working on my nervous system, constantly listening to my body, constantly trying to choose thoughts that are going to help me instead of thoughts that are going to put me in a negative feedback loop and making it into a lifestyle instead of thinking that, oh, it's 7 p.m. my meditation time, let's go and meditate and then I have to do my EFT, and then I have to do my journaling. I do none of that. I take life as it comes, and I listen to my body. And most importantly, there's another external factor, which is I work out a lot, which increases a lot of my <coughs> capacity. And um, I take care of my nutrition, right? I eat a lot of vegetables, I eat a lot of fibers, I, I don't have sugar, I don't have flour uh, in, in, the, in the form of wheat, I don't have wheat in my diet. So I do take care of my body in every possible way to not feel overwhelmed and to look at circumstances in a neutral way. And that's what I teach you inside ATEPS to create money and a lot of money from this space of ease, from this space of regulation, right? You don't have to hustle your way to making money because this, again, hustle is a patriarchy based mindset. I think the reason I'm queer is why I began to look at the world as why is this this way? Why does it have to be so structural? Why does it have to be so rigid? Why do you have to have this the bro mindset of no pain, no gain? I started questioning all of those because they, they were strange to me because I am myself queer, right? And then I began to feel that, is there another way to do this? Can, can there be a softer way? Can there be a smoother way? Can there be an easier way? Can there be a more fluid way? Can this feel more liquid instead of feeling so rigid and fibrous and structured, right? So that is when that is when I began to work the way I work today. 
which is with a lot of fluidity, with a lot of lightness, with a lot of um, expansion. Remember, no heavy things can expand, right? Like this, this bottle is solid. It can't expand. But the water inside it can expand because the water is lighter than the bottle, right? So when you consciously choose to live a lighter life, you can expand and have way more. When you live a constricted life, a more solid life, a life that is non-negotiable, a life that is non-flexible, a business that is non-negotiable, a business that is not flexible, a business identity which is non-negotiable and a business identity that is not, not flexible, right? You will not be able to expand. You will not be able to have more money. When you're willing to be lighter, flexible, fluid, feminine, um, that's when you will expand. That's when you will actually make the money with a lot of ease and also fast because then fast will not be fast. Usually people feel that fast means hustle. But fast doesn't have to be hustle. Like if I take this bottle and drop the water from here, the water will flow at its own speed. It'll, the entire floor will become wet fast enough. Does that mean that the water had to hustle its way to make it fast, to spread fast? No, it was just being water. Your lightness will create your speed. I'm going to repeat this once again. Your lightness will create your speed which means that money can come to you fast because your natural speed is motivated by the lightness instead of the hustle, right? So don't confuse speed and fast with hustle and having to do a lot, right? I'll see if there are any comments. You can, you can also put uh, questions if you have. I'll, if there are questions, I'll answer them. Okay, happiness coach Anjali, she says, I sat with my offers again yesterday and have been feeling super overwhelmed since then, have been feeling extremely weak. Yeah, so this live should really, really help you because I've shared a lot of stuff in this live and you can come back to it and watch it again. And if you feel like making notes, you can otherwise just stay with it, but it's definitely going to help you a lot, a lot. Okay. Right, so I don't see any other questions, but thank you so much once again for watching this live. I think this is one of the most valuable lives that I have brought up and giving out a lot of information, a lot of tools, um, a lot to take away. And lastly, come inside ATIPS. Get inside ATIPS. Make yourself resourceful. Get the money from wherever you can and get inside. You will not believe the kind of ease that you will experience while making money, right? Yes, Deepa, go ahead. You have a question. Please go ahead. You have a question. I'm waiting for the question. Yes, Deepa, go ahead. You can type out the question and you can write it down. Yeah. I've been feeling very overwhelmed and stifled for the past two months. Right. And my question would be, what have you done about it? Right? Because if you feel overwhelmed, once again, I want to reiterate that it's a state of your nervous system and your nervous system is interpreting your present circumstance as a threat dangerous, something that it is unable to process and cope. And your current state is also coming from a past state where you have felt overwhelmed before. And that state is being recapitulated and remembered by your present state. So something in your present environment is being interpreted as this past threat, which is past trauma. And my advice to you would be to go and work on this past trauma, which you may not know cognitively, 
with a therapist, with a healer, with a coach who happens to be trauma focused, right? So sometimes trying to be calm and slowing down um, all by ourselves does not work because we really need support. Like I told you that I have, I have three coaches, okay? And I also have a fitness coach. Then I have a nutrition coach. Like I have like five coaches. I'm, I also understand that I'm able to hire all of these coaches is simply because I have the money to do that. But then there are also coaches who may not charge that much amount of money but maybe charging from Indian rupees 2000 to Indian rupees 5000. If you actually go to our Facebook group, which is you are money, I have a Facebook group called you are money. Okay. And you can just go and type on Facebook, you are money, and you will see that there is a private group, then you can send a request to that group. And you can get inside that group. Now, once you get inside that group, you will find lots of therapists and lots of coaches. What you need to do is you need to go to that group and at the topmost panel of that group, it's written featured section. Topmost panel of every Facebook group is featured section. So inside you are money group where there is featured section, you will find that every Friday we have free coaching calls by different, different therapists, different, different coaches, different, different healers. You can attend those calls, number one. Number two, you can hire one of those coaches. Number three, because that group is inhabited by many coaches and many healers because they come there, because I give them money solutions and money coaching, right? I give money coaching to coaches. So there, it is, it is inhabited by a lot of different coaches and healers. You can always ask in that group, is there anyone available who can work with me one-on-one? -on -one? This is my budget. You can always ask, like put a query, put a hashtag coaching, right? And you can always ask. So take advantage of that group, Deepak. So go there, ask people, and um, you will be able to you will be able to find a solution, right? You are money, Facebook group, send in a request, go to the featured section all the different coaching calls that we have had every single Friday at 7.30 p.m. IST is listed there. You can also see through all those calls. There's a lot of valuable stuff that is being um, given out and utilized in those calls, right? So there is a lot of free stuff also out there. You take advantage of them and then put up a query for someone to work with you. And this is my request to every single person here that whoever is facing overwhelm, whoever is facing burnout, whoever is finding their life unmanageable by themselves and simply calming down and slowing down is not helping, then please seek help. I am a coach, I am a therapist myself. I seek help all the time. Three coaches help me out with my business, with my thoughts, with my feelings. I seek help from my colleagues, right? I seek help from one of my tarot readers who reads tarot for me and she's excellent, right? Even in the time of this crisis where, you know, I was going through a house crisis, some of you know, some of you don't know, I sought help from a tarot reader to find out what is the solution. I'm not ashamed of seeking help because I know that I am, I alone cannot solve my problems and I alone cannot always have clarity and I alone cannot be the uh, creator of this regulation of my nervous system. I will have to seek help, right? In whatever way I can because I feel that investing on my emotions and investing on my nervous system is the highest investment that I can actually make. Because at the end of the day, the money that I'm making, the interactions that I'm having in my business container, the number of sales that I'm making, the offers that I'm creating, all of those things are coming from my brain, isn't it? Like it's not coming from anywhere. It's actually, it's actually because I can have a stable state of not just sanity, but also connecting to divine intelligence. 
I connect to divine intelligence. That's how these ideas and everything, they flow, right? But for me to be able to take care of this vehicle, that is my body, which can connect to this divine intelligence, I have to invest, right? I have to spend money and I have to invest. And that's what coaching is also. That if you want to reach a certain state, even if you want to like make money, you have to be willing to invest in your brain, in your body, right? Because you alone cannot make it happen. I used to think that I can make it happen all by myself and I was wrong. I thought that I did not need help and I was wrong. Like who needs help with business, right? But then I discovered business coaches who work with emotions, who work with thoughts, who work with personal stories, right? Who do not discount your human experience from your business. And then I was amazed. I was like, well, I love money and I love nervous system and I love emotions and I love stories and I love, you know, trauma work. And this is what I would like to do, right? Which is why I combine all of these things inside ADEPS for you all so that you can look at your business from a holistic perspective, from an all encompassing integrated perspective, instead of thinking money and business and clients and selling and offers as separate things that you have to learn. It gets to be easy for you. Trust me, it gets to be easy for you. It was not easy for me because I was trying to find out for the last eight years of my, you know, working as a coach therapist and uh, as a paid one. I mean, I was working as a coach and therapist before that, but I was not getting paid so much money. Like, you know that I started my business with just 700 rupees per session. And 2022 was the year where my entire revenue my whole revenue was $1 million, right? Which was between seven and a half crores to eight crores. That's the amount of money I had created in all those years, right? And now I can create that kind of money in a year or two. Why? Because I have a better regulated nervous system. I have a way easier way of approaching life. I have a well-managed mind. I have the ability to choose the thoughts that I want to think against the thoughts that I don't want to think, right? I have the help of coaches and healers, right? Who can truly help me in embodying the kind of body that I need in order to create a flourishing business, right? Vivek, how can we solve self-sabotage? I would invite you, Vivek, to uh, come to our Friday coaching calls that happen inside our private Facebook group, which is free. You are money and be present at 7.30 p.m. IST every single Friday. And there will be coaches who will share the Zoom link and who will come live through Zoom attend that call, right? Keep a check, put it on your calendar. Every Friday, inside the Facebook group, You Are Money, there is live coaching happens by coaches from inside ATEPS who will not only tell you the magical stuff that happens inside ATEPS, but also will coach you on your problems, right? So Vivek, this is for you. Please go ahead and take advantage of the private Facebook group. It's going to help you a lot, I promise, right? So uh, that is all for today. I had the loveliest time and uh, I'm so energized right now, right? Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to see you all soon. And I'm also hoping that all of you, so many of you are able to um, be inside ATAPS by the end of this month because trust me, you all want to make money, right? Yes, Deepak, yes. Uh, you are referring that your program eight steps can, oh, it is ATEPS, A-T-E-P-S. So ATEPS is so, people who don't know about ATEPS, all you have to do is go to my Instagram profile, okay? Go to my Instagram profile. Look at the pinned posts that are there. Pinned posts. There's a video, there's a multiple slide post, right? And then look at, look at it and read through it. 
And then there's a video also where I explain what ATEPS is about, A-T-E-P-S, Abundance Tapping Expansion Practice Series. Then go to the link in my bio, okay? Link in my bio, you will see a panel. In that panel, there will be one panel which will say, join my lifetime business coaching container, money coaching container, ATEPS. Click on it. It's going to take you to a website page, web page, where you can read all about ATEPS. Okay? It's majorly for uh, coaches and healers and therapists and also creative entrepreneurs who are looking to make money, a lot of it with ease. I combine business coaching with a lot of trauma focused coaching so that people do not have to separate their business and their money from the emotions and feelings and thoughts that they carry within them so that when this is resolved and this is regulated the money becomes easier and easier and easier and easier right that's why you would want to come inside ATEPS okay I'll see you soon feel free to DM me if you are keen about learning to know more about ATEPS and getting inside it super soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.